what's a really awkward situation that everyone can relate with? Saying, hello, or how are you, to somebody and getting 100% ignored. Being called on to answer a question you really have no idea how to answer. Someone showing everyone in the group something on their phone and waiting until it is your turn. Having your stomach rumble in the middle of a quiet class meeting. Edit. Both in college and at store meetings, my go to cover up strategy was to furiously flip through pages of notes to try and drown it out. Not being able to pick up when someone else is completely disinterested in what you are talking about. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's mother starts yelling at your friend. Being at a friend's house as a kid and the friend's father walks in only wearing underwear. Ever drag your shoe across a tile floor and have it make a loud, wet, fart sound, so everyone in the room looks at you? Then you insist it was your shoe and try to make the sound again. But nothing happens? Yeah. That. Watching a sex scene with your parents. When you're walking and almost trip for no reason and look back at the invisible stick that you tripped on. The fake smile on your face when you receive a terrible gift. When you are video chatting, start talking and because of the delay you interrupt each other all the time. Stop talking, start again, interrupt the other one, stop talking, never ending story. When your mom leaves you with some distant relatives whom you have never met. When you've had multiple interactions with someone but you can't remember their name but it's gone too far to admit you've forgotten it so you just have to call them love or mate forever. Coming out of a public toilet after laying a beast and there is someone waiting to go in the cubicle. When you say a funny joke but all you get is silence. When someone asks, what's going on? And you respond, good, you? When you think someone waves at you so you wave back, but they were waving at someone behind you. When you're finishing up at the checkout and the cashier puts the notes on top of the receipt and then coins on top of that, then the next person steps up and you're fumbling, trying to disassemble the stack in your hand, gather your shopping, say thanks and move away at the same time. When you reply to a stranger who says hello, but then realize they were on the phone and not speaking to you. Happened to me just yesterday and I didn't get any sleep last night as I couldn't stop reliving the moment. When you're saying goodbye to someone and then you both end up walking in the same direction, or when you turn and walk into a wall with people watching. Edit. My first awards ever. So glad my forms of awkwardness resonate with others. When you're having a conversation with someone and you don't hear what they say so you ask them to repeat and they do. But you still don't hear it and ask them to repeat again and they do. And you still don't know what they said. Do you ask them to repeat again and maybe still not hear it? Pretend you heard it and nod your head and hope it's an appropriate response? Stab yourself in the eye with a pen to create a diversion and change the subject? When you're walking past coworker and you've already said hello earlier. Everyone's making that weird flat smile. Go to wash your hands and the water comes out at a thousand miles an hour, splashing your crotch. You are of course, at work. When you walk out of the store empty-handed, feeling like you've just stole something. When someone keeps calling you by a wrong name. You let it slide to begin with thinking they have just made a mistake, but then it carries on for such a long time that you can never correct them. Walking through a doorway only to catch your clothes on the handle and have it slingshot you backwards. When you run out of things to say during a conversation and you're not quite sure how to end it. When you go for a hug but the other person goes for a handshake, so you start with a handshake but do a weird hug at the same time with your hands in each other's crotches. Standing there while two people talk about something you don't know about. When you try to contribute to a conversation and someone cuts you off multiple times. That awkward moment where you and somebody else try to let each other speak but you both try speak at the same time and just keep failing. When you swallow water wrong and it turns to a coughing fit in 2020. When you're walking on a sidewalk with two other friends and you're the person that does not fit so you have to stay behind them. Edit. Had a typo in. Behind. Also. Someone gave me my first award on Reddit. Woohoo. Stalking someone on social media and accidentally liking a comment from months, years ago. Someone trying to initiate a handshake after you've just washed your hands. It's either a few awkward seconds of quickly drying your hands on your jeans, or shaking their hand anyway and seeing the discomfort in their eyes. Having. Happy birthday. Sung to you. 
farting while coughing or sneezing. When you start to tell a story in a group but in middle of sentence realize that no one is actually listening and ever so slowly you get quiet and hope no one took notice. Edit. Wow. Seems someone did take notice this time. I asked myself a few times what might be wrong with me bc of this but I also could imagine I'm not the only one this is happening. But I don't think that sometime g is wrong with you. It's just all too often that people just don't think so much. I think people in general mean no harm. They maybe were in this moment just not as emphatic or don't have the antenna in the everyday hustle and bustle to notice something that doesn't jump in the face with a neon sign. Figuratively speaking. Or as for this case. Notice someone's contribution that is not bursting with self-confidence or provides the perfect introduction. But perhaps acts rather a bit introverted. When you say something funny and no one reacts so you say it again and they're like. Why did you just repeat that stupid joke? When you're out and someone approaches you with an. Oh hi insert name. Nice to see you again. And you have no idea who that person is. When you're on a public bathroom and someone tries to open the door even though it's locked. When you are at a friend's house and their parents are yelling at them. Sometimes beating them. Calling your teacher mom. I'm not sure if everyone can relate to this. But one of the most awkward situation I've ever found myself in was being invited to meet my girlfriend's family and over dinner her parents got into a massive fight. As a nurse, you are commonly thanked by a patient when you leave their room. Once in a while they something else. And the, you're welcome, comes out by habit kind of knowing someone in the office. Well, you guys spoke that one time. So now every time you see each other. In the lift. Walking down the corridor. You have to decide where to put your eyes until you. Naturally. See each other and say hi. Uh. You ever clogged a toilet in somewhere that wasn't your house? Thank guys. My inbox is now clogged with all of your oversized shit stories. Can't wait to binge read all of it. Edit too. Guys please stop sending stories. I don't think my inbox could survive more of this. It's on intense medication RN. Edit 3. Inbox funeral later at 3. 00 PM. Y'all are invited. When you're pissing in a urinal and a dude just pulls up to the one beside you. Even though there are 8 urinals available. When you start a story and it gets interrupted a bunch of times so that what was an amazing story with a kick-ass finished punchline is instead just a waste of time now. When you accidentally say. You too. After someone says something that isn't compatible with that statement and you just stare awkwardly at each other. Forgetting someone's name and having to introduce them to someone. Bumping into an inanimate object and apologizing to it. When you ask someone a question, but can't hear the answer. Then you ask them again and still can't hear them. Then just saying, ah okay. And praying you don't need to know whatever it was they said. Being expected to make polite conversation while having a gynecological exam. There you are. Pussy exposed. Legs spread wide. Someone is stuffing something up your vagina. And you are expected to be able to talk about the weather. When you're walking behind someone that has a slightly slower pace than you. So you start to pass them. But then have that awkward moment when you're walking next to them before you cut in front of them. The accidental fart. When you type your password in the username box while someone is watching. For the guys. When you want to get out of a chair and go somewhere but you had a random boner pop up out of nowhere. When the restroom stall doors naturally fall shut and there's no vacancy indicator so you have to knock or push at the door to check if it is empty. Not hearing what the other person said. So you just nod and smile. Praying it wasn't a question. When the server brings your food and says. Enjoy your food. And starts walking away and you say back. You too. Ordering a food delivery and getting the same delivery person as you did last time. Bonus points if it's been a week or less since your last delivery. When someone tries to give you a fist bump but you go for a high five. When you're next in line at the grocery store with your mom and she leaves you to just get one more thing. And the anxiety and awkwardness builds because you're up and she's nowhere to be found. When you're home alone. So you take a poop with the door open. Then you suddenly hear the front door of the house open. When her friend sees a friend and starts talking and you just stand there because you're conditioned to keep your mouth shut but in reality I think I am supposed to introduce myself. Would you like to round up your bill for charity? I always feel like a dick when I say no. Pooping at someone else's house. 
when you think you hung up the phone but you didn't and proceeded to say something unflattering about the person you were talking to. When you go to someone's house and their big ass dog won't stop jumping on you or licking you. When the person says, no, when you ask them out. Edit. Thanks everyone for the responses. My response really just meant it's awkward because either you and or the other person might feel awkward when it happens. Thanks can. Obviously. Be fine after. Just right when it happens it can be odd. When you remember something awkward in public and you audibly cringe or make weird faces. Slapping a stranger's ass in the grocery store and realizing it's not your significant other. When you befriend someone and they ghost you a week later. When you want to tell something important, funny and everyone is listening but you start to stutter and cannot find the words etc. Ends up with everyone silent. Literally forgetting a person's name 3 seconds after they've told it to you. When you're the plus one a party where no one else brought a plus one. When you're at a self-serve place. Or retail store and presented a tablet that asks for a tip percentage. You know there shouldn't be a tip because there is no service aspect to it. But you feel obligated because there is a person watching you. You are surrounded by strangers. Let's say a bus. No cell phone. No headphones. You remember a really stupid and funny thing and you start laughing. Congratulations. Now everyone is looking at you asking why the fuck you're laughing. This one goes out to the girls who didn't have a lot of powerful uplifting women in their lives. But the first time a girl has to buy pads, tampons, it's really awkward like you're letting the whole world know your baby maker is working. I know WHEI was 10 and I had to do this. I was so terrified, weirded out. I thought everyone was watching me.